hello guys so i'm gonna go you i'm gonna start the community cloud give you a quick introduction about how do we set up the community cloud and how to start this <clears throat> so go to any internet and create a one playground where you can play around so i just create a playground and this is the new playground which i created and uh, i want to explain you uh, what are the first steps we have to do for community cloud and then later i will go with the more details so for the first step to enable the community cloud or the experience cloud, I would say is just type digital experience under setup, go to settings. And here you have enable digital experience, just click on it. And you have to type in the domain name, which should be unique. So if you check the availability, this has already been taken by, um, it's been taken by me itself. Um, another playground probably let me check the availability of this one yes this domain is available i can click save and then i'm all set so once you are enable the digital experience and provide the domain then you land onto this page where you have all sites and you can create the sites over here to see you know how to start up the community join so to create a first site i'll just click on new and i want to show you a couple of things um, what happens when you click on new and what are the different templates we have on communities and probably i will go over each and every template to explain you what it do so we have multiple templates over here we have around i would say nine templates which are enabled this is disabled so i'm not considering this build your own template this is lwr when you have to use lwc this is b2c where you want to have the customers comes in and you have to you know do the customer central kind of thing you know you can have the guest users and you can have the logins and everything this is the help center portal which will be used for unauthenticated users if you want uh, your organization where uh, you know you just have to open a health center where the customers can go and find the articles or find some problems over there so you can have the health center and have the charts or something enabled customer account portal this is a template where you probably can use it whenever you have to whenever you have a customer base and customer base has to log in into the you know the portal and have to update some billings or anything so that's how it happens for customer service, it should be something like uh, when you have a customer service, like you have to have a chat, something like that. So I will go and this is for partner portal, this is for Aura, and this is like an app, you know, when you have to launch the apps. And this is, our, this is the old classic way if you want to have it. So it's a small glance, but let me go with the first template called customer service. And I will click on get started and I'm saying like, uh, let's say Capricorn Cafe. I'm putting up Capricorn Cafe and creating the template. Let's see how it goes. So since it's a customer service template, what it gives you, it gives you, you know, a customer can log in and do the servicing. takes a little bit of time meanwhile i will explain you a couple of other things and this is digital experience so if you go to digital experience you have all sites you have pages you have settings i will go over the settings once the templates have been ready you can have you can create your own templates as well you know you just saw the templates right you can create the templates and then things so let me go over the settings for a quick thing. Meanwhile, the template is getting ready. So this is turn on beta features. There are a couple of beta features which it says provide. So if you want to enable them, I'm just enabling the turn on beta features. So some of the beta features would be enabled. You have to review the limitations if you want to review the limitations. Click on this link. 
This is the Enable Experience Bundle Metadata API, which allows you to deploy the community sites from one sandbox to the sandbox to production. If you want to use, if you want to deploy, then you should having this Experience Bundle Metadata API enabled. Then you have customer roles, partner roles. Uh, I will go over these settings later part because this requires a little bit more depth of knowledge. But uh, let me go over this site. So how it happens when you create a site, you have multiple things. You have a builder where you can build your you know, website. There's a moderation where you can have posts and comments and create rules for posting and comments. This is content management where you want to show up your articles and knowledge management articles. This is gamification where you can have members engaged with the generation batches or something like that. There's reports and dashboards, administration when you want to build up, and this is a guided setup if you want to set it up. So stay, stay tuned, I will open my next video with each and every details. So this is a general overview for starting the content.